What's up? Hey, Mike. If I can get you. Yeah, yeah. Can you see the screen? All right. I gotta make it bigger. Um, I'll, I'll make it bigger. I don't have it. I have it pretty small right now. <laughs> How's that? Perfect. So we'll wait a few minutes here. We got push play a little bit. Let me check the screen. Oh, never mind. Check the uh, if it was glitchy or not. Okay. How was that? Can you make it bigger? Yeah, yeah. Hey, just uh, for those of you that can hear us, uh, I'm Galen and this is uh, Mike Moskowitz. Um, we're just kind of testing some things. We'll get started here in like three minutes. So if you see the video rolling, uh, don't be nervous. You're in the right spot. Uh, we really appreciate you guys joining and uh, looking forward to uh, just coming all together for some basketball that we all love. So here we go. Should be good. Yeah. Hey, so, Gail, is, there a way, is there a way to know who's online? Uh, yeah, I have a list. Okay. How's the video quality? Pretty good. It's a little glitch, but it'll work. Let's, if, is there, if, and maybe ask anybody else that's on board if what it looks like to them. Yeah, let me, I got to shrink it down because I can't. Oh, I got you. Oh, X is jumping on. It's a little glitchy. That's all. Little glitchy. Who's that on there? Yeah, that's Austin. I'm, yeah. I'm Austin's dad, Paul. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? Good, Paul. Yeah, well, let us know if it's glitchy, guys. We're, I mean, again, this is the first time we're working through this. Oh, yeah, no uh, worries, no worries. Hey, what's, we see it. And I'm kind of rewinding it. <laughs> How's that look, Mike? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me tell you where we're at. He just hit the guy for the dunk. Okay, so I the ball went through the net, so I'm just a little bit ahead of you. Okay. So, like, when I scrub back, who's got the ball now? Uh, Nico. Okay, so when He's I – He's in a trap. Okay, so when I move it manually like this, like I'm controlling it, I think we're synced up pretty good. Okay. So, let me see if we got – I think we had some people still wanting in. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of people here. We got 23 people participating. Do we really? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, super excited. Again, thanks for all of you guys being here. Connor Hi. Lynn, got uh, Tag and and uh, Jack Dooster. I saw boys. <laughs> X, Will, Max, a lot, of, a lot of people we know. This is great. Sophie. Hi. What's up? What's up? Everyone? All right, uh, Mike. Mike, Mike get started. Make it big. It's over here, boss. Get off this phone call. Oh, my screen. That's Mike's screen. How we doing, everybody? Oh, right there. You guys all going crazy at home? Yes. 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 <laughs> all right, so we're going to spend about a half an hour here talking a little bit about some pick and roll. Okay, so we've got a variety. It looks like of ages. Yeah. And probably skill level and knowledge. So, do I, do I have to like press connect to camera? Do I have to or no? Go there, G. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'll just listen. Okay, so. Hey, hey, Mike. Ask everybody that's watching to hit their mute button so that you they can hear just you talking. I think I just muted them all. Sweet. Hey, yeah. If you guys, if you guys could hit mute on your sound um that'd be great 
got 26 people on board, Mike. Man, that's great. Thanks for joining, guys. Um, hopefully I can speak a language that all you guys can understand as we talk through this. Are you guys ready to go? Um, here we go. So, G, can you blow the screen up a little bit? Yep, we're going big. Going big. Okay, so the gentleman, the player we're looking at here is number one, Nico Manon. He's a freshman. He's at Arizona State. He's six foot three. He's 190 pounds. He's from Arizona. So we're going to watch him in about six or seven uh, different pick and roll situations. Um, so do me a – G, is there a way to ask questions on this via text? You know, I uh, there's a way for them to chat. I just don't know if I have it set okay, up. Okay, we'll figure that out. Next time, possibly. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So here you go. In this first play, you have Nico coming down on the right side. Um, he plays on Arizona. He's in the white. He just gave up the ball. So th as his play evolves, yeah. they're setting him up. I hold right there, coach. Okay, at this point here, he's got two defenders really, really looking at him. The third defender, ball side guy guarding number three, is watching him also. Um, so hopefully everybody's following that. Now, as we go through this, and we might be a little, little difficult to get, but he's going to attract two guys, the man defending the big, Right, so that's called a hedge and over. So let's go back a little bit. The guy defending the big is hedging the screen. The guy defending the ball handler is going over. So what we call that is a hedge and over, okay? As we come off and we keep dragging, stop it right there. So at this point, G, I don't know if you can use our arrows, but they've got two guys paying attention to Nico in the ball, and there's two guys guarding three on the back side. So as Nico goes, this is what he's really good at. He keeps his dribble. He plays off of two feet, and he identifies the big going to the hole because the two defenders are attracted to the guy in the corner and the guy in the slot. So watch it transport right here. So there's two guys where Coach has Coach Galen has it circled, guarding three guys, the guy at little hole, the guy in the slot, and the guy in the corner. He does a great job using his eyes to suck the defense like he's going to the slot and then makes his great pass to 25 down in the paint. Watch this. Boom. Okay. So let's go back on that one more time, and then we'll go through the next one. Hold on. Let me erase. Okay. They run a little bit of false motion here to get Nico the ball. As he catches, he comes off. What we talked about, boom, he got two guys. Hold it right there. So let's talk about that real quick. So the, the job of the handler when coming off the screen is to attract two. If he does that, then it turns into a cerebral game where he's got to use his eyes and his skill set to find the open guy. And in this play, it's the guy at the low hole. Awesome. Pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Next play. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Nico coming up. He's got the ball. They said a little pin down. Hold it right there, coach. Let's go back on that. So this is just a read. So he initially comes off going left to right, and he won't hold it right there. He wants the number three to go over to the top because they're running what they call a twist. So now they set a ball screen and they twist it and they set another ball screen. So as he comes down, hold it right there, he's now got the attention of the man guarding the guy in the short corner dunker spot. See his eyes? And at this point, as good a passer as Nico is, he freezes this defender and gets this guy the ball. Unfortunately, the guy drops it and it goes out of bounds. But go ahead. Down six to Arizona, man into oh. All right, let's watch it in full speed again. So he comes off. He wants the guy to go over the screen so they can twist the ball screen. Boom, he twist it. They attract little hole help, and that should have been done. All right, here we are again, playing against UCLA. They run some false motion. They get Nico back the ball. He gives it up again and gets it back. I hold right there. So at this point, they're in the same situation. You have a guy in the right slot, you have a guy in the corner, and you have a guy should be in ball side corner. 
Jeez. Looks like they're going to hedge and recover again here. So as Nico comes off, oh, he was, he was, oh, at that point, yep, go back a little bit, G. Okay. Right here, stop. So at this point, he's got two guys looking at him in the ball screen action. The guy start, the guy defending the man in the in the ball side corner gets frozen because hold on real quick. His job is to take the roller and tag him if he rolls. This decision here is a great decision. This guy is catch, he's ready to shoot. As soon as Nico delivers it, there's no thought about it. He just shoots the basketball. Great decision. And he <laughs> Hey, Mike, let me check. Sorry, everyone. I'm just going to make sure people, everyone made it in. We got a couple here. Right. I don't want to leave anybody out. Do you want to ask any questions, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Does anybody have any questions? Get to unmute them. Uh, you might have to unmute yourself if you got questions to ask. Your microphone's red if you're muted. Hello. We lost vision here. We don't have, we can't see anything on the screen all of a sudden. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, yep, we, we can hear you. Okay, yeah, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden it says, wasn't that better than what you, you, you're you used to? And I, I can't figure out how to get it back. Maybe I put it on mute, right? Anybody else experiencing that issue? No, we can see you properly. I can see the, the users, I see, but I can't see. The screen. All of a sudden it just went out. Let me see. Yeah, you should see it. You should see the game. Full screen now. Full screen now. Yep, we see it. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Okay. All right, now this time they're going right to left. This is Nico coming off. That's called an Iverson screen. Hold right there. All right, let's oh. take that back a little bit. Oh. Okay, hold up, right there. Right. So as he comes off this ball screen, he's coming off left to right. The guy's coming off this what's called a shuffle screen off the top. You have a man in ball side, no, kind of 45. And as Nico goes, he, gets, he receives the ball screen. He tracks both guys, hold right there. So now he's got the point guard and the big that are attracted to Nico. The guy def defending, the guy in the far slot, what we call the crackback, is now having to pick up the roller. So watch as this play evolves. Nico does a great job at keeping his dribble and playing off of two feet. Here he goes. Stop. So right now, that's all right? Yeah. So right now, as you see this, Number four should be guarding the guy at the top of the key, but he's got to take the roll guy because there's two on the ball. So the far defender is stuck in kind of an island. He's got to guard two guys. He's actually at a defensive position. He should be in the high hole area, leaving far slot open. Um, but he's not, and that creates this angle here. Nico does a great job. He plays off of two feet, and he makes an accurate pass. Times oh, the Irish got to shoot that ball, please. Lee makes it home against Hockey. Only decision he didn't do well was take the shot. Luke says, I've never seen those guys before. Never in my life. Dylan Smith got the rebound. Okay, here we go. Nico's back up top. Shocking that there would be a tight game, four minutes to go. They want to get their certain actions. They get the ball back to them. Hold. So same deal. Let's go back. Same deal as the first slide that we set, we showed. All right. He's coming off high ball screen. He's coming off right to left. Hold it right there, coach. Yep. At this point, far slot guys, defender has to pick up roller. Right. So as he rolls, he picks this up. Other guy that's here should be in low hole. They should be in a high hole, low hole scenario at this point. The rules in a pick and roll scenario, especially when you're trapping or hedging over, is you want to zone off. You want to step three steps forward and zone off that area and take away anything that leads to the rim. 
So as he goes, now watch the guy rolling. All right, hold up real quick. So number four right here is out of position. He's anticipating this crackback pass to the roll replace guy, and he doesn't get in front of the roller. The guy that's guarding the guy now in the slot is two feet off. He should be a low hole. That would never happen. But he's anticipating, and he's too close to his man. So Nico does a great job. That was a two-handed pass right over the top. They get it done. All right, here we go against our, our Colorado guys. They hey, might just fall smoke and hand off into a stagger baseline screen. Here comes Nico. Boom, he catches it on the wing. Gives it up, gets it back. Hold. We go back a little bit, coach. Yeah. This is this is this is high level IQ. So he's in his horn set. He's in a horn set. A horn set means you have two bigs that are positioning themselves butt cracked to the corner, and he's got a read off of each side. So he chooses to go left. Now in this scenario, as he goes, they roll the first guy, pop the second guy. Stop. So they roll first guy, they pop second guy. CU does a terrific job. They've got a guy in low hole. They've got a guy in high hole. Nico just makes the better play. The goal in this scenario in here is to leave the furthest man open or the furthest man away open. So Nico knows that. He's obviously probably drilled this scenario many a times. He finds the guy on the far side for either a jumper or an attack against a long closeout. Here we go. First that man in trouble. Oh, makes a bad pass. Hold, oh, go back. So here's just another high level play. So Nico makes his pass, and the guy on the wing already knows the next play. He sees the roller. The def guy defending the roller has to be the guy on the closeout. So he makes the touch pass in the air. That's just a terrific play. CU does a very good job, though, rotating over. I mean, they get there. They just can't stop it. Hey, Mike, can you talk to about – Hey, Mike, can you talk about how, like, you know, why, why is Nico doubled as he comes off of this? Or why is he attracting two defenders? So these clips that we're showing you are – they're detailed in the sense of it's him passing. Um, he's extremely good at being the handler coming off of any ball screen, middle, side, L, uh, whatever it may be, um, at attacking and creating for himself. So a lot of these scenarios, they want to put as much pressure on him. They want to scoot everything over and zone off the back side and make him have to make the IQ play. The thing is, Nico's really good. I mean, it's like pick your poison uh, with a guy like this. So they run this dribble handoff, baseline stagger, right in the same scenario. They loop it back, stop it. The whole goal in all of that movement was to get him back into this horns action that we just looked at, right? They know that the, they want the ball in his hands. He makes great decisions, um, and everything kind of feeds through him. So let's watch it again. Nico makes the same play, I believe, here off this horns going right this time. Hold it right there. Right, so both guys suck to the roller. Skip pass over top to the guy that slides up to the 45. And boom, you got a jumper. So to incorporate all of that and make those decisions takes, you know, the game being really slow in your mind, having a very high skill set, uh, and then being really unselfish, just understanding that you're the quarterback of the team. So here we go again. Nico, we saw this play earlier against UCLA. Hold it right there. So now they're coming off. So now he drags two. They attract to the number 35. Is this the first play there, Coach? Yeah. Ahead? Yeah, I think it is. made it through all of them. Hey, can you boogie real quick? We've got a little bit of time to that, that Gonzaga one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me pull it up here. Hey, do we have any questions out there? No. Nope. No. Are you guys following okay? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Is it is it too much? Is it not enough? It's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. good. Xavier, are you out there? 
don't know, an X. X. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, yeah, I can you understand it. all that? Yeah, I got it. Okay, that's this is really geared towards someone like you. Yeah. Okay, let me uh yeah, we'll go to this other one here. Let's just look at these. We'll show two two or three clips. Now this is verse this is handler. So this is Gonzaga's point guard playing in pick and roll scenarios, finding his shot. So there's a hundred different ways to guard pick and roll. Well, not really a hundred, but there's probably 20. Uh, most people resort to about two or three. So let's watch this real quick and I'll talk about defensive coverage. <clears throat> so Gonzaga plays typically in what, what I call, or a lot of NBA guys call it in the catch. So the goal of, hold it right there, coach. Just go back just a little bit. Yeah. Right to the initiation of the screen. Okay. Right there. Okay. okay, so if you can see the guy guarding the big, he's playing at the elbow. His whole job, he's in the catch, is to catch the handler going over, come, come, the handler coming to the rim. Um, we know this, the handler know, or the defender in the catch knows that the guy's going over the top. The handler has to kind of play yo-yo here as he's kind of playing with the big because the big is in a help recovery situation with the roller. Oh, right there. So as the roller keeps rolling, the big keeps stepping back. Now he gets by, and he's got a beautiful two-foot jumper right in the middle of the lane. Right? That takes patience. That takes skill set. That takes reading of the game. That takes your big rolling properly. There's a lot that goes into that. Um, but the, the sooner you can understand that piece of it, uh, the better off you're going to be. And the number one thing off pick and roll for you as a handler is to come off looking to score. That's a big deal. All right. All right, here he is again. I hold. So this time, Gonzaga does a really good job. They get into, a, they bring this guy to the 45, another guy in the corner. It makes it really hard to help as the handler goes. He gets into the paint, which creates help. It's not a great question of it. Here we go again. Hope, pick and roll. Handler gets in two feet in the paint. He's got a shot. So NBA-wise, one of the biggest stats that they read on their on their point guards and their, their off guards is how many times they get their feet in the paint per game. That usually uh, correlates to having success in pick and roll games and just getting easier shots for your team. So that's very difficult to do because of skill set and just maturity wise in regards to some of our kids. I do one more, G. One more. When they compare him to Perkins and Santangelo, he's some of the great ones. You know, he's going to say Stockton, right? But certainly among the great ones that have played here, Fargo, what an addition. So, okay, right here is a great one. So I don't know if any of us are going to finish like that currently. But as he sets this ball screen, hold real quick, the defender – here in this scenario, he wants to give them one way to go. So the defender on the ball handler right now should be on low hip, forcing him to the screen. Shouldn't even give him an opportunity to go baseline because Gonzaga is really smart. They brought their four man up to the top and they've, they've occupied these two on the backside with some false motion. They're looking for this defer. That's what that's just, what's just called. They don't come off the screen. They defer that screen or reject the screen. And now they've got a baseline drive, and that's what happens here. Uh, Comes up. Gets caught. Gets dunked on. Right. There you go. Comes up. Dunk. Yeah. Uh, any questions from any of you guys out there? Hey, Coach, I got a question. What you got? Uh, so I noticed on uh, Nico's, when we were watching Nico, yep. uh, when he was coming off the screens, I kind of noticed how uh, it looked like he was going away from the basket. Like, I know he was making passes, and he was also getting doubled. But I was right. wondering why it kind of looked like he was going away from the basket instead of attacking off the screen. That's a great question. So that's an IQ deal, right? So the job on a hedge and over or a trap or red against ball screen your job is to now take those two guys as far as you can. So we call it dragging the double. So drag your double out so it spaces the floor. And now you've got to position your guys. Hold right there. So right now he knows they're in a double. He's a smart guy. He knows their uh -huh. feet coverage on pick and roll is a hedge and over. And now as he picks it up, he occupies the big. His man's coming over. 
he knows he's playing a three versus two scenario on the backside. So for you, like if it, it, the reason you double a guy typically is because he can either shoot the jumper or he can turn the corner, right? So as your game develops and you can just – the guy goes under or over and you can pull a jumper, they're going to start to double you. So your job now is to take those two and create a disadvantage situation for the other team on okay. the back side. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got you. Cool. Really Thank you. Yeah. Max, great question. Anything else? You guys want more of this stuff? Or there's certain play if there's certain players you want to watch or study, you know, let us know. Right. We'll we'll send out maybe a feedback. Um, questionnaire um, on this, but tomorrow we've got another scenario here at four o'clock. Uh, what we got tomorrow? Transition pull up? Uh, yeah, yeah, or we can we can switch it up. That's on the transition was what we had written down, but we can change. Can we able to see Paul George? Uh, unfortunately, we can't see uh, we can't see NBA players. We just have access to NC two A uh, coverage. Uh, okay. Who else you got? Well, who's your favorite college guy? Uh, I don't, no idea. No, what's your favorite team? Um, I say, say the Colorado Buffaloes. Buffaloes. <laughs> maybe we can look at their transition game. Jalen, well, maybe we can do that. We just got to look at the beginning part of the season because they weren't very good in the end. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Thanks. You no. got it. So, well, hopefully you guys will tune in tomorrow. Uh, feel free to shoot us a, a message if you want to see anything uh, different than what we're showing. It could be a difficult couple weeks, many weeks. Um, so I know this will occupy some time and provide some knowledge for these young players. So I'm um, excited to do this for you guys. Cool. Thank you, Coach. Got Thank it. you, Coach. Thanks, Galen. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Take care, Thank guys. You. All right. See Bye. you guys. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya. What do you mean?